trunk, you get your shit and get out. Uh-uh. The suitcase was packed by the door. Yeah, been packed the tent this morning. Bye. Matter of fact, uh, and get your side so, from, so when the people see you outside, they know why you're standing out there. Oh. Here you go. No. Here. Blessed love, everyone. Welcome to How Can I Help Speak on This. This is Murphy. And like I said, where this channel is concerned from day one, however way I can help, and if I see a situation where a youth is concerned or a child, and I say, feel like it is right for me to say something or for anyone to say something, First, let me give thanks and praise unto the Most High, because without Him nothing is possible, but all things are possible through Him. I thank Him for His grace, each and every blessed day. I thank Him for His everlasting love, each and every blessed day, because without Him nothing is possible. I really take this personal. I saw it today while I was at work, and as you can tell, I'm still in my work. Not even take my jacket off yet. But I have to do this video because when I see this, as a matter of fact, I want to send out a big bless up to Rapper Crapper, yeah, to that channel. Uh, big him up. Blessed love you. Yeah, when, when I saw the video today on this channel, I really, I thought for a while it was a joke. But that is not a joke. That is not a joke. It is not fun to put a, tr a child through that much trauma. Terrifying that way. And it's not a joke. You can't do things like that to your child. And then you put it up on Facebook or on YouTube for other people to see and think it's funny. It is not funny. It is not funny what that lady did to her son. That is wrong. 
and to see the little one crying behind her going back inside and to see to, for her to do that. She may think it's a joke, but when other people see that, that is not a joke because it's not a joke to me. And when I watched this man channel today and I saw that, I didn't find it funny. It bothers me, man. You can't do that to children. For what reason? And like one person, I, I made a comment about it. And one person sent back a comment and said, um, she's just mad because her son picked the right person. You have to take bad things, make laugh, you know? But that is wrong. You, you, you can't do that as a joke. And if it's not a joke and she's really serious, I hope this video really goes out and other people see it and call the police. Because that is wrong. That is not a joke. That is not a 15-year-old or a 17, 18, 19 year old. This is a child. That little boy looked like he was about three or two. Can't be more than that, three the most. And you put him through that? And you lay down tonight and, 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 and that night and you, you, you decided you're gonna put it up on Facebook for the public to see? I hope the public really see it and I hope you get something out of it because that is wrong for that child. You have no right to do that. Whatever games or whatever they were doing at school, he can't vote because he's a child. But I guess it gets to the point now in society that even children are they're getting them to advance so much into society at a very young age. Because to hear what she said to him, why did you vote for Donald Trump at school today? And then you come over and you gonna do that as a joke? And I don't, I, she may think it's a joke, but to the way how she's talking, she's putting it in a way for him to be afraid, like she's serious, but deep down inside she's probably doing it as a joke, but it is not a joke to the public. That is wrong. That is totally wrong. And it makes me feel good to see when other people catch things like these and put it out there. You see, that is one of the things about social media. I'm not a fan of it. But, sometimes, it helps. It have a lot of good. People, we can't do this to our children and think it's a joke. The other day I saw another video where a lady chained her daughter to a post and beaten her and have another lady videoing it. Somebody tell me what's going on with these people and their children. Why are they having children that this is what they're doing? Why are they, is, is this what they take social media for? There's too much of these things going on. Too much. You can't be terrifying these children like that for no apparent reason. And it really disgusts me, man. I can't, I don't say you can't joke with your child. But okay, you know, she started it. You started it. But when you see him crying so much and going on, you can just imagine how oh, I'm a little hard to beat. You know, okay, you know, turn the, turn the joke off now because it get, it gone, it gone overboard. That's him, I forgot you the door. Say it before and I'll say it again. I take it personal when I see a child abused by an adult or by a parent. I take it personal. Some people come on now. It's not everything is a joke.
may be a joke to you, funny to you, but remember, what we can stand, they can stand. They can't. That little boy will never forget that incident. We'll never forget it. And to see the other little one, look like he's about one years old, crying and running behind his mom because his little brother is out there. Mom think that is funny. <laughs> I love my mother so much. And things like that, I know my mother didn't do them things to me when I was growing up or to my brother or my sisters. No, I know that for a fact. I know my mother loved me and loved her children. Would I say that lady don't love her child? No, I wouldn't say that. But you don't love your child and do things like that. You stop it when you see it going too far because it's gone too far. She went overboard. She went overboard. And I really hope that she get a little taste of the terror what she put her son through. Because there's a God. And he says, suffer the little children to come unto me, forbid them not, for they're the kingdom. They're the man and woman of tomorrow. What kind of thing is that? That is not right. I don't feel good about that. I take that personal. And with everyone out there, who are treating their children like this and think it's a joke, it is not a joke. If you take it personal because your party lose the election, that is your problem. The only thing your child should worry about, not even worry, the only thing your child should think about is getting something to eat, play, and go to sleep. That's it. He shouldn't be worried about nothing more or be terrified about nothing. But we live in a society that so much is going on and everybody thinks everything is a joke. It is not a joke. You can go joke with an adult like that, but don't joke with a child like that because that is not right. That is not right. But like I said, I just come home. Tired? I'm just going to take my stuff off. Chill. And relax. We'll show. Anyway, with that said, this is all can I help speak on this. This is Murphy. Subscribe to the channel, like, and share. And tell me how you feel about this video and what you see this mother do to her son, her little little boy. All right. Blessed love, everyone. Big up Rapa Crapa. Big up Soul Flow TV. CDs and thing, Blessed Love, on Stage TV, Mr. Winford Williams, Blessed Love, and peace and love to everyone else.